Lori, you, you still work, you're a nurse, that's correct, and you're working at the ICU. <laughs> it's a happy place, I guess, I don't know. I'm playing peekaboo all the time there, I don't know. <laughs> and Lori, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask the boss of the family, Lori, where, where did you two meet? Where did you guys meet? High school, could you be less specific? <laughs> was, it, was, it, was, it, was it a dance at the high school or was it? Uh, our very first time, yeah, at a dance. At a dance, this is fantastic, it's a beautiful thing. And, I, and does uh, Paul have any hobbies oh. <laughs> that we can talk about? <laughs> Brad alluded to some video earlier, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Do you have any hobbies we can talk about? Uh, Computer games. Yeah. He coaches the hockey, I think. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, that's a job, though. That's not that, right. is, that is a job. That's, <laughs> that's a full-time job for. That is full-time. Okay, so I'm going to do this uh, special song for this special couple. I'm going to sing it in Spanish. Everybody else speak Spanish here today? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said C. Okay, great. Sí. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to do this song in, in, in Spanish. Then I will translate into English the story of Paul and Lori. Sorio, me la cuando la paloma cuando di palle cuando para la 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 Of course I did. <laughs> I was sitting at home one day on the couch watching television when my father came into the room. He said, hey, Bob, what are you doing? Sitting on the couch there, my friend. Why don't you go out and get a job? Earn your keep. Bring some money into this household. I said, Papa, I'm only nine years old. <laughs> Papa didn't care. Papa was tough. Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> He says, kid, you're gonna have to learn. He grabbed me by the breeches of my pants, the back of the neck, and he heaved me out the front door. I went flying across the lawn, across the road, into a big field, a farmer's field. It was winter time, there was ice. I was sliding, slipped right into a hockey game. <laughs> I scored. <laughs> I said, hey, kid, what are you doing out here? <laughs> Sliding around on the ice. He said, and my father threw me out of the house. He said, you slide pretty good. Here, put on these skates. He said, I never skated before. Let's give it a try. He put on these skates right away. He fell down a couple of times. He couldn't seem to get moving. So one of the kids said, here, my dog is on a leash. Hang on to it. <laughs> the dog pulled him all around the ice. He didn't fall once. He loved it. Both the dog and the skating. <laughs> he knew right then and there what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. So do you. Medic Wando, Lava Lover, Wando, the skating of the Chunky Stores. Ay, 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 ay. I knew hockey was going to be my life. It was going to be what I wanted to do. That along with, oh, I don't know, maybe computers. <laughs> and I was walking one day to school, and I knew hockey was the thing for me. But I saw this, this, this giant wall on the other side. It was full of fire. <laughs> I looked at it for a minute, and I noticed how people ran away from this fire wall. <laughs> Nothing could get through the fire wall. I knew I had to learn more about this firewall. <laughs> so I went to Oshawa Public School where I graduated with honors. <laughs> From there I went to high school, Oshawa High. <laughs> Called Oshawa High for reasons I can't get into right now. <laughs> Kids, cover your ears. <laughs> After finishing Oshawa High School, and I was skating around having a good Time, learning everything there was to know about the world of computers that was fast approaching, I decided to go to college. I go to college? Yep. Yes, I went to college. <laughs> Ashwa College. <laughs> I learned so much knowledge at the Ashwa College. I was a very smart guy, but I needed even more knowledge, so I went to university. Did I go to university? No. Nope. No! <laughs> I didn't need no stinking university. <laughs> I knew enough about the business. 
So when I finished college, I decided to go door to door. I would knock on people's doors. I would say, hey, it's me, Paul. How do you like me so far? <laughs> people were not opening the doors too fast. I would say, hey, you need uh, some kids coached in there or anything? <laughs> Nothing. You want to buy a firewall? <laughs> I usually got the police out pretty fast. <laughs> this one day, I knocked on the door. The door opened. There was Elvis. I said, hello. He said, hey, man, how's it going? I said, I like your sideburns. They look like skates. He's going to beat me up like Chris later, too. I said, I am here to show you about firewalls and maybe coaching up hockey. And Elvis said to me, he says, listen, buddy. He says, look, you can't go door to door. You should go join a big company, like say Hewlett Packard or something like that. They know all about the firewalls, and you can teach them about the firewalls and build big, huge firewalls, bigger than AVG ever thought of. You can have all kinds of stuff happening, and maybe you can coach a little hockey along the way. I said, yes, this is a good idea. Just then, I thought to myself, what about that beautiful woman I met in high school? I remember we met at a dance. So I went back to high school, there she was. She was still there at the dance. I guess our ride didn't pick her up yet. I went running into the school. I was running so fast across the gymnasium floor. I tripped and fell. I skinned my knees. She came running over. She said, hey, you hurt? I said, yes, I could use a little intensive care on my knees right now. She says, I see that, and I see you. Our eyes locked for a moment. It was passion. Kids go like this, girl. It was passion. Right then and there, I looked at this beautiful woman. I said to this beautiful woman, I want to be married to you for 25 years, but I must ask you one thing. She said, what is that? I said, what is your name, beautiful lady? She looked at me and she said, She said, Lori. Can I use something in the translation? Eh? I said, Lori, you're my father, the most beautiful woman in the world. We'll be together for 25 years. And we'll have many children together. She said, you get three and you'll like it. <laughs> okay, I said. But can we get some dogs too? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question, but you all do. <laughs> and I looked at her and I said, we'll be happy together until one day. Mom throws us a great big party at the Quality Inn, and some fat balding guy sings to us. And this is the story of a 